All right. Make sure you know your parts of your algebraic expression, your vocabulary. The examples are very similar to how you would be tested. You would be given an expression and you have to identify the parts in that expression. Okay, the first term here, or term, a term is just parts, the part that make up the expression, but they are separated by addition and subtraction signs. Okay, so the operation signs, this plus here and this minus here, separates our terms. So that means this is the first term, this is the second term, and this is our last term. Sorry about that. So how many terms do we have here? Yeah, so there are three terms in this expression. Our terms are the following. We have a 7a squared. Notice that this is in standard form because the exponent is listed first. We have a 3b, and we have the constant 6. So I'm going to ask, like, what is the term, or how many terms do you have in this expression? That would be, like, how I would test you on this, on your vocabulary on this, okay? Now, a variable. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a letter. A letter used to represent a number. So in our example, 7a squared plus 3b minus 6, what are the variables? A and B. Yeah, the variables are a and b. Those are the two letters we see in the expression. Good. All right, now we're going to go into coefficient. Our coefficient is our number attached to the front of a variable or letter. So it's our number in front of the letter. This means that number and letter will be multiplied. Okay? Yeah, so 7 and 3 are coefficients. The 2 is an exponent, so it's not a coefficient. And the 6 is a constant, so it's not a coefficient. So if you want to think of it as a number in front of a letter instead of variable to help you simplify it, you can. Okay, Coefficients are attached to the letters. All right, and then our constant, a number that stands alone. Yes. The number... Six is the constant. Okay. All right. So now, topic five, the last topic that you're going to be assessed on, which is our simplifying expressions, our combining like terms. That's what the CLT is. So I'm going to probably focus on the odds, maybe a couple evens here and there. I'm going to focus the left side. All right. On 31 here, the like terms are this. Remember, there's an invisible one there. This n. And don't forget the operation, minus 5n. When I combine those, you're left with a negative 4n. Then you also have your constants, which is this plus 4 and that minus 9. That would be negative 5, yes. So our expression is negative 4n minus 5, and that's our simplified answer. Okay. Now, on 32 here, we got more than one letter. Make sure you do alpha order. So we start with our x's. So 7x, then right here, this minus 3x, those will be combined together. 4x? Yes. Oops. Got my pen. So when I bring these together, yeah, we have 4x's. After x comes y, so I have, don't forget this minus, the operation sign. I'm just putting a box around the minus 4y. Again, there's a minus sign and a minus 8y. Minus 12y. Minus 12y, good. Last are always the constants. We have a negative 8 and plus 12 gives you plus 4. Yes, there is your simplified answer. 
Okay. What? This part, yeah. Now, let me talk about 33 and 34, okay? The thing that's addition to our combining like terms is now we have this grouping symbol. Now, every time I have the grouping symbol, you're going to have to use the distributive property. Now, that's one of the properties you have to know, but let me show you how you apply that property. Basically, the number in front of the grouping symbol gets multiplied to everything inside the symbol. Right now, do we see a number in front? Do you see a number in front of the parentheses? No, 12 is not the number in front. 12 is going to be subtracted from that number. So, like, right now, right here, you got to recognize this is a, if I don't see a number, it's an invisible one. Just like if I don't see a number in front of the variable, it's an invisible one. Okay? So, this invisible one, we're going to distribute, which means we're going to multiply. So, basically, like, hippity hoppity distributed property. Oops, let me fix that. I'm going to distribute this negative one. So I'm times that negative one time. I'm just drawing an arrow pointing to the X and then pointing to that number. That, that's who I'm multiplying to. So the 12 stays, but now when I do negative one times X, that's a negative one X. A negative one times, this is like a negative five, that becomes a positive five. And then everything else stays. Then I have plus three X and then minus eight. So do your distributing first, okay? Just like order of operations, grouping comes first. Now we're going to combine like terms. I'm going to combine my x's. I have this negative 1x and this plus 3x. When I combine them, you all see that's going to be 2x's, okay? Now I'm going to combine my constants. I have a 12 which is positive, I have that plus 5, that's 17, negative. and then negative 8, no. plus 9. Negative. Yes. So if you look at number 34, now here I have two sets of grouping. The first grouping has a number in front, it's the 9. So I'm going to distribute the 9, multiply the 9 to everything in, inside. The second grouping has an invisible 1. The second grouping, sorry about that, has an invisible 1 that I'm going to distribute. So the first, 9 times x is 9x. 9 times is minus 3 or negative 3, negative 27. Then negative 1 times x, that's the negative 1x. Negative 1 times 2, negative 2. Now we're going to combine the like terms. That means I'm combining my 9x and this minus 1x. When I combine that, that's 8x. Now I'm combining my constants, a negative 27 and a negative 2, negative 29. Yeah. All right, so let's look at the last page. Okay. See if you recognize the first step was it's to distribute the negative two. See if you can rewrite the expression doing the distributive property. Okay. So hopefully we get negative eight at 18 minus or that negative 8x, but then minus 14 because it's a negative 2 and a positive 7. That's negative and a positive always turns into negative. And then we should have plus 5x. Check to see if you did that. Here, we're going to combine our like variable of a negative 8x and the plus 5x. I'll let you write that down, see if you can get to the simplified answer. Should end up with negative 3x plus 4. Okay.
All right. The last two here is perimeter. We just talked about that adding up all the sides. Okay. So if I want to show an expression for the perimeter of this triangle, I'm going to start with this first side here, which is 2x minus 6. Then I'm going to come down to this side. So I'm going to add that. So plus x plus 8. And then I'm going to come around plus 3x plus 1. We're combining like terms to simplify for simplest form. So we have a 2x, a plus x, and a plus 3x. If I combine those, is this going to give me a total of 6x's? Yes. Then if I go to my constants, I have a negative 6, a plus 8, and a plus 1. Okay. Okay. You have a positive three. So negative, I mean, sorry, six x plus three is our simplest form. Six x plus three. Now, there's a typo on 38 here. We don't have a triangle showing here. You have a rectangle. Okay. So just make sure we recall that if I know this side, this right side is V minus 5, that's just in a rectangle, they're the same. So this would be V minus 5 as well. And if I have this bottom horizontal side here, 2V plus 13, opposite would be the top, and it would also be 2V plus 13. So... Guys, you can work smarter. Just make sure you show your thinking. So, like, you, because we're combining like terms to simplify the expression, if you want to jump to saying, okay, there's my 2v, there's a v, there's another 2v, if you want to circle the like terms around the shape, that's fine to show that you're adding them. So, if I combine these, what would I have? Six. Yeah, 6v. And then I'm going to go to my constants. I have 13, I have a minus 5, I have a plus 13, and I have a minus 5 again. So that's going to leave me with plus 16. And we're done. Okay? So just make sure you show your simplified expression. All right, so that takes care of the last two topics besides the one I just didn't do. Um,